Hi guys, and welcome to the Magic Rhombus. This is James from the Pokemon Rhombus and the Magic Rhombus. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing a deck tech video, Legacy Deck Tech. Um, today we got Russ's deck. He runs uh, Infect Shoal, Blazing Shoal. Uh, he, and he's going to go take you through the deck. Oh, sweet. Now I have the power. And I have the chips. That is true. Hi. Okay, so... Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the deck, um, Shoal Infect, the basic premise is you win with a combination of one of these two uh, Infect creatures, Blighted Agent or Ink Moth Nexus, and then you win with Blazing Shoal uh, using its alternate cost to pitch either a Blasphemous Act or, he's buried over here somewhere, you can use a uh, Progenitus to, uh, to pump it up plus 9 or plus 10 plus 0 and then swing for lethal in one shot. <clears throat> yeah, Blasphemous Act. It's kind of good now. And I run it because James told me to. Yes, because everyone was running Dragonstorm. And <clears throat> myself included. Russ included. He was trading for Dragonstorm. And then I'm just like, hey, uh, Blasphemous Act has CMC 9 also. Yeah, why don't you I shouldn't have picked up the foil. Then. God damn it. And he's like, I'm like, why don't you use that instead? He's like, well, I don't know. I'm like, well, think about this. You can cast Blasphemous Act. And have it do things. Yep. While Dragonstorm, it just sits there. And then and it, it was like the angels came down and blessed me or something. But, uh, so yeah, I do run those now. And yes, I have casted them in a pinch, which is why I run a mountain. No, you it's not a volcanic them, island. You actually cast them a lot. Yeah, pretty, fairly often. I mean, if I'm, no. if I'm stuck against a bunch of things and yeah. the game's been dragging on. Anyways, <clears throat> um, it's four cards for Shoal and four or... Uh, I run a Summoner's Pack package with Progenitus. But uh, beyond that, there's not a whole lot of ways. I mean, it's it's a small portion of the deck, so we need plenty of ways to find it. So you run your basic package, four Ponder, four Preordain, four Brainstorm, all of your cantrips. Uh, additional digging spells, I do run a couple of Peer Through Depths. Um, if I have room, I would run another one, just because it's Impulse for five, and it fetches all of your relevant cards, bar uh, Blighted Agent. Uh, next up, we have some uh, some counters to uh, protect the combo. Generally, the only way, the only reason we're ever going to use these is if we're uh, it's during the turn we combo off. So uh, we want to stay cheap. So we run a set of spell pierces, a uh, couple of days for uh, the early game in case we need to disrupt an opening turn grim lava mancer or something like that. Uh, Pact negation because I am a college student and money is very tough to come by. So we oh. don't use Force of Will, we just oh, use Pack. pretty expensive, too. Well, it's a lot cheaper than a Force. 20 bucks to 60, take your pick. Uh, I also run uh, 3 Muddle the Mixture. Uh, it doubles uh, its protection, its counter-target instant or sorcery. Let's pick it up here. Uh, it also can transmute for 1 and double blue. Uh, the two drops that it grabs are most notably Blazing Troll. But it can also grab uh, Blighted Agent. Yeah, I, I've grabbed a Peer Through Depths once. Days. Yeah, I grab a Days. I've never done that. And then Days. <clears throat> now over here we have a couple of uh, uh, seemingly random things, but uh, I've tried. They're all tried and true. Uh, I do run one Stifle Mainboard. It's my answer to problematic cards such as Umazawa's Jit, which single-handedly just wrecks this deck. <laughs> if you see a lot of Jits in your meta... Replace the Stifle with a Jit yourself. I would stay away. Actually, I would stay away from this deck entirely because okay. you just won't win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I run a pair of gut shots. This card is the Stone Cold Nuts <laughs> against just about anything, any legacy yeah. staple creatures. Uh, the list goes on. Bob, uh, Noble Hierarch, Evan Mind Sensor, um, Grim Lava Mancer, Grim Lava Mancer, even Dryad Arbors. Dryad Arbors. It hits. It hits Mother of Runes. <laughs> Yeah, anything with one toughness, I mean, if you think about it, it's it's really good in Legacy, and Gutshot just wrecks it for free. Yeah. Um, and now I've gone and buried it, because I wanted to be cool and fit all of the cards on this little playmat. Uh, I also have an alternate way, instead of using Blasphemous Act, and that involves uh, Summoner's Pact and Progenitus. This is basically Progenitus number two, and it's only useful the turn you combo off, because we don't run any green mana. Uh, over to the lands real quick. Uh, basic islands, there's no reason to run anything else. Uh, I do run a Singleton Mountain, 
because I just don't have a steam vents. That's uh, that's next. First it'll be a mountain and then a steam vents and then a volcanic island and everything will be hunky dory. You only need one, by the way. Yeah. Um, again, this is another money issue. I just, for some reason, I don't have a fourth scalding turn, so I run three in a misty. Um, the Ink Moth Nexus we've covered. And uh, I do run a Telaria West because you can transmute it for a Nexus. The Mountain for purposes of casting Blasphemous Act. Pact. Or you can get one of the two Pacts. So you can either help protect the combo or help assemble the combo. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is my deck. It's not really, uh, it's not really popular. It's kind of, uh, off the wall. But, uh, I'd rather be unique than good. And this is a great way to express that. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go over the sideboard, which is really, really janky, because even the sideboard can get a little pricey sometimes, if I could have you, uh, help me with that. So the first thing we have is, oh yeah, you start with the most awkward card ever, uh, Vesuvian Shapeshifter. It is absurdly expensive, and now uh, the shadows are getting in the way. Absurdly expensive, five mana, but uh, it's basically my out against Iona. Why don't you use uh, <coughs> Metamorph? Metamorph is still blue. So if oh, Iona yeah. calls blue, yeah. I still can't. I, can't. I, I was thinking Elish Norn. So <coughs> it helps against Elish too. Uh, next up, let me, yeah, another gut shot, just in case it's, uh, I mean, this usually comes in against Maverick, and, uh, combo elves, goblins, that sort of thing. Next up, a trick bind, it's more JIT defense, I really don't like JIT. Two echoing truths, helpful against dredge, goblins, uh, sometimes even elves, and it's any non-land permanent, too, so it comes in... If I know I need to bounce things, but I won't know exactly what, Echoing Truth. Uh, a Dismember, just in case, uh, I mean, it's usually, sometimes it's for protection, sometimes you have a big, uh, a fat flyer that your Ink Moth can't get around. Uh, Dismember helps with that. Uh, a Hercules Recall, which will probably get replaced, it's more JIT defense. Null Rod. Yeah, probably a Null Rod. Uh, bounce all artifacts target player owns. Kind of good against affinity. Mm -hmm. For those of us who aren't running right for, aren't running white. There I go butchering the English language again. Grave hate package. Yep, grave hate package. Uh, a singleton Tormod's crypt, and three surgical extraction, which are both grave hate and they double as uh, counter uh, combo removal, combo disruption. And rounding it off, we have the full set of spell skites. Not terribly popular in Legacy, but these things have been amazing for me. Because there's nothing like tripping someone up by having their Scrib Ranger untap a spell skite or redirecting all of their <coughs> removal. Two spell skite. Just, just anything. Spell skites are amazing. And if you're running Shoal, you, I, I would say that these are a necessity. Yeah, the so, they don't, so they don't kill your infectors. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. This is Shoal Infect by. Myself. And James. Yes. Oh, I forget that, yeah. My bad morph, uh, my Iona tech. <clears throat> that's only in there because... <laughs> Not because you told me to, that's that's no. these. It's only in there because we, when we play, I get Iona out and, like, red. <laughs> yeah, because you're mean. So anyways, this has been Russ, together with James from the Magic Rhombus and the Pokemon Rhombus and, the other rhombus. and Squares. And uh, A square is a rhombus. That's, that's true. But a rhombus may or may not be a square. Uh, stick around, we'll, probably, we'll definitely be doing more uh, Legacy Deck Tech, and uh, we'll probably see if we can get some matches in the near future. So, take it easy, guys. Peace.